Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Ike, the explosive one. Uh, let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. 10 minutes or less. What is a food that, or what, actually, sorry, not, it doesn't even have to be a food. What is something that tastes both Bo- tastes good, both hot and cold. Pussy. I'm sorry. Jo- Look, I couldn't even help. That was such a Jonas thing to say. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Don't put that on me, you filth monger. Get out here saying this is a Jonas thing. I apologize thing to, to the listeners, to my mama and Jesus. Yeah, you know mom's listening to this first hot off the tracks episode. Let's see. Hot and cold. Okay, Jonas. Um. Wow. Um. Pizza. Okay. That's the number one thing I can think of. The number of. one answer in the comments of, of Reddit? Revenge. <laughs> 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 the guy got like awards and all sorts yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, some I of the like other ones. Chocolate. I don't really like chocolate hot. I prefer like chocolate at like room temperature or cold. Um, like melted chocolate really isn't my jam. Like hot fudge sundaes. No, that's the good shit. I'm not I mean, even lie. I, I, mean, I like won't that. not eat it, but I yeah. prefer it. Uh, cheese. Melt hot melted cheese or cold cheese out of the fridge, both good. I like cold cheese, yeah. Uh, cookies, I don't really like hot cookies. Hot take, I like my cookies cold, or like at least room temperature. Uh, yeah, like uh, I objectively have to say is that cookie dough is way better than cookies. Yeah, I agree, a thousand percent. Like people love that Tiff's treats where they bring you a box of hot cookies. And yeah. I hate it because the cookies, like, fall apart. You can't even pick a cookie up out of the box. I mean, there, there is something about a, a hot toll house, my Same. man. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You're, you, you're, you're, you're I'm not worried about hot, that about, about hot foods. All so. right. Fair enough. Um, let's, so wow. then banana bread, it says, this person says it tastes different whether it's hot or cold. I really don't eat banana. I mean, I will eat it, but I don't eat a lot of banana okay. bread. Okay. It's been a while since I've had a, 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 a fruit-based or a vegetable-based bread. Yeah. Uh, pizza. Of course, Pizza? I agree. Hot or cold. I prefer it hot over cold, but I will eat it cold. <laughs> so, have you ever met the person that's like, why don't they just sell pizza cold? No. No? Or no. That, or the person that's like said, uh, I like cold pizza over hot pizza? I I don't. I wouldn't hang out with them. <laughs> I, if they said that, I would I have, immediately make them Okay, leave. so I have definitely met an individual where that person told me that they liked cold pizza better than hot pizza. And I looked them into the windows of their soul. I said, and I said, <laughs> and I told them I was like, "Oh yeah," because everybody's calling up Domino's. Like, yeah, I need a uh, large pepperoni sausage, but uh, could you just put it in the uh, refrigerator <laughs> instead of the oven for me and then send it over here in a in a igloo box? I don't know. Like, yeah, nobody yeah. orders cold pizza. People think I'm crazy when I say I don't like hot cookies. I kind of feel like you're crazy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I will take a cookie out of the oven, put it immediately in the freezer so it gets cold so I can eat it fresh. Uh, yeah, you're on your own, buddy. Yeah, I, I will have to say it's like my favorite way to eat a cookie is in dough form. My next favorite is right out of the oven. Yeah, and then the same thing here says apart. brownies. I, when I make uh, brownies, I keep them in the fridge. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would like a nice, hot fudgy brownie one that like crumbles the moistness yeah i don't want all of the fats congealed together <laughs> which is essentially what you're doing yeah it makes it more gooey and chewy but it's fat congealing you yeah want, you're you right. want congealed cold fat i yeah you're right <laughs> uh this says coffee and i don't i disagree because i don't like cold coffee i like iced coffee i've come around to iced coffee i started right. drinking uh like black coffee too. Yeah, I drink. That's what I do. Black and coffee. I drink it cold, and it's all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I've uh, come around sandwiches. To it. Hot. I prefer a hot sandwich, but I eat a lot of cold sandwiches. Okay, so this weekend, I actually was uh, privy to a person that told me about heating up a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like actually like putting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the oven. Or putting it oh, on Oh, like gr- toasting it like a grilled cheese. Or grilling it. Yeah, I've okay. heard of people toast it like a grilled cheese. Okay. Or put it like uh, your toaster oven. That yeah, yeah. It's it's too messy for me. like Because the peanut butter gets thin as hell when it gets heated. Yeah, I mean, you have to put it on something. Like put it on like some aluminum foil or something. Right. But And apparently the smell of hot peanut butter smells like feces. So you gotta be a little, <laughs> okay. gotta be a little weird. Okay. But I'm I'm thinking about trying it out. I haven't had a sandwich in so long. I mean, like, I have some bread if you want to borrow the bread. I mean, I don't, yeah. I do have peanut butter. 
I don't know if there's je- there might be jelly in there. there. Maybe, be. maybe. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I've haven't I honestly haven't had a sandwich. It's probably. I would time. think it would probably be better if you like buttered the outside of the bread like a grilled cheese and cooked it in a pan because it would get crispy and brown on that. Because putting just putting bread in the oven isn't going to do much for you. It's going to be weird. It's but uh, but I have I, I have made <laughs> I have toasted the bread and got it hot and then put peanut butter and jelly on yeah, it and yeah. that's somewhat similar. And I just don't like how it just it's a. Flipping mess, dude. But yeah, I, I mean that's not a bad idea. Uh, some people said pie, uh, tea. Okay, I can see that. Apple tea. cider. Yeah, I was gonna think. I was just thinking cider too. Yeah, that was in my <laughs> the head. The horrifying, intense, existential dread of life. Yes, I prefer that cold. Yeah, I prefer it cold. Um, hot, there is a place cold. in Austin that will sell hot donuts. That like they sell hot uh, cookies from Tiff Treats. Okay, I hate them. <laughs> I know you hate the hot cookies. I, no, hate don't hot donuts too. You, do dude. you hate hot baked goods? All I don't around. really like baked goods. What like do you mean you every, like baked I don't goods? eat. I don't like pie. I don't really like cake that much. Um, but what well, I never want it hot though. Cake cake over pie is a hundred percent. Yeah, I would eat cake over pie any day. I just I don't eat pie. Period. Except for the cheesecake, but I oh, because yeah, it's called because it's called cheesecake. We're gonna take it from the pie. And it can come and live in the cakes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because, I mean, it has a graham cracker crust. I mean, yeah. pies do have graham cracker crust, but most pies that have graham cracker crust are dessert pies that are cold anyways. Like, it has pudding in it or it has something like that. Like, yes. you don't get, like, you don't make, like, a, a cherry pie with a graham cracker crust. That usually isn't how it works. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, graham cracker crust pies I tend to like, but I don't like hot fruit. I don't know. I'm weird. I don't like hot stuff. I don't like hot cookies. I don't like hot fruit. I don't like cooked fruit. I don't like, like pie. Hot, what about, like, a hot ham sandwich? I do like that a lot. I like, yeah, I like hot sandwiches. I prefer okay. a hot sandwich over a cold sandwich a thousand percent. Really? But I'll eat. If I want something quick, I'll just throw two pe- two pieces of cold ham and a piece of cheese on bread and eat, like, a ham and cheese sandwich because I'm just, like, I just don't want to deal but with you, it. But you never put that. Okay, so look, look I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. So you never put the, like the ham in the microwave? <laughs> I've done that before. You Absolutely. have done that before. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a thing where I like I'll make like a, a makeshift Italian sub where I'll take a piece of ham and lay it down, put a couple pieces of pepperoni, some banana peppers, and then heat that all up, and then fold it up and put it on a, put it on bread. And I'm like, oh, it's like a hot okay. Italian sub on bread. Okay. But uh, I used to take like the ring bologna with the red ring, and I would toss oh, that in the in the microwave. Yeah, it makes a sombrero hat. Yeah, and yeah. then you take the ring off after yeah. it's cooked. Yep. Exactly. No, I uh. The, well, here's a hot take though. I prefer the only thing I like on my grilled cheese sandwiches is bacon bits because anything else pulls out of the sandwich when you try to eat it. Because if you try to like, if you don't chop it up, if you just put a slice of ham and a grilled cheese, when you bite, the whole piece of ham wants to come out because it's so lubed up with cheese that it just uh, wants to slide out of the bread. Oh my god! When you said lubed up, it made me physically ill to my stomach. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's because I'm picturing like this grilled cheese with like a piece of like salami in it and you just like ripping it out covered in cheese. But it just I don't know, man. You elicited something in me that just made me want to throw up. I haven't (laughs) eaten a grilled cheese in so long. It sounds so gross to me. Dude, I love grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't know, man. Something about like just like, okay, I'm going to be 100 percent honest. I like cheese cubes, but the thought of eating like just like. All that cheese just kind of grosses me out. And I know I get pizza every once oh, in a no, while. No, no, no. I could eat an entire block of cheese. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> like, I cheese is probably one of my favorite no. foods in the entire world. Oh. It is the most worthless food, period. It's so bad. It's it, made out of cow jizz, and it's all fat. It, yeah, it has. it's literally a condiment. <laughs> a condiment. Like, like eat- bacon bits and cheese are condiments to food. <laughs> they are kind of condiments. Because you don't just get a plate of cheese. Yeah, like, yeah. even if you're yeah, eating true. a charcuterie board or whatever, it's cheese and veggies and meats yes. and trackers. Yeah, it's always accompanied by something. Yeah, and bacon. You don't just get a plate of bacon. P- a pizza is pretty close to just cheese as a food. Kind of, but there's bread, too. Yeah. So it's almost like it's like an open-faced sandwich. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, like, it's because, it, I mean, you, gotta, and you, and you don't just put cheese on bread. There's sauce, so there's, like, a condiment. Yeah. Have you ever had quiche? Uh... I have, but I'm not a big fan. I don't like baked egg dishes. I used to I used to get a mushroom quiche from Wegmans, dude. That was amazing. It was also <laughs> like a billion calories too. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And anymore so I try good. to I try to stay away from stuff that's super terrible. Yes. And cheese is definitely on that list, man, but yeah. you can do it right though. I mean you can eat stuff with cheese on it. You just can't overdo it. <sighs> 
I will admit, man, that cheese cubes are they get me in those adult those adult lunchables, man, are amazing. I actually bought some. Did you see them in the refrigerator? I didn't yet. Those are good. Where it comes with like some cube salami and, or and some so they, yeah, they're like little small plates. And they come with like a little disc of pepperoni, a little uh, square cheese, and then it comes with like a freaking. It's of almost crackers. like a. It's almost like the uh, bagel chips out of Gargados. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like it's like they, adult lunchables, and it's an adult lunchable. It really is. Yeah, and I love them. They, they cost a hell of a lot more than a lunchable, but the quality is way more too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, anyways, go to crazytown.com, subscribe, do things, eat food, tell us what you like, hot and cold. Jonas, do you think? Oh, uh, we out.